In this series of tutorials, what we're going to do is we're going to build a 2D platformer game using the P5.js libraries. Now this is going to take a number of tutorials to do, but our first couple of tutorials are just going to be setting up our development environment and creating a world in which we can have our player exist when the game commences. So to start with, in our OneNote, in our Unit 4 P5 game code, there's a page at the top called zips. Now there are four zip files here, and the text next to them explains what they are. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to download all of those to our computer. All right, so you just click on it. It'll take you to the SharePoint drive, where you can just download them. And so that will download the zip files with, and show you what's inside of them. So we're just going to do that for all four of these. So these are all the building blocks for our game. So I'll just close all those windows. And what I'm going to do with them now and what I'm going to do with them now is I'm just going to unzip them all. So right click, extract all, and I'm not going to show the files. And then I'm just going to delete the four original zip files. So now I've got anims, which is my animation pictures for my player. The audio files, which I'm going to use in the game. So I'm just going to rename that to be audio. Some library files, which I'll explain what they are when we get to them. And some images for our game, including our sprite sheets. So I'm going to take these out of my downloads folder. Control X. And I've made a new folder on my desktop called P5Game, where I'm going to paste. So I'm going to do all my working in this particular folder. So that's your first task to set up a folder on your computer and to have all of these files in it.